feel that we have such a great, unique sound and we have this, this product and this formula between the four of us that's so unique and so beautiful and there are so many interesting, subtle things in our music and it's just so hard and almost impossible to get the amount of people that you need to actually listen. I think we're special, we're different because we have so many things that we draw influence from, so many things that we're into, that it basically it, it allows for endless possibilities of creation. The Audio Guide to Happiness Part 2 will be an album unlike any that you have ever heard before. This album is just, it means so much, it is so much, it's just, it's, it's everything we wanted, we wanted it to be, it's everything that we hoped it, it would be. It does come from a visual place where we're always trying to uh, sort of not just create uh, songs, but almost create environments with our music. This opportunity touring with Riverside is something that we have to do, you know, if we don't do this, um, we pretty much set ourselves back. We're looking forward to going on this tour to, to just connect more with fans and, and, and expose our music more to new fans. A hurricane Sandy crashing on shore. Winds now at 90 miles per hour and this storm is so big, so vast, 60 million Americans will feel its power. Jolly was born, and this is where Jolly grew up, and all destroyed everything. It's also my home, it's also my apartment with my fiance Erica, and it's just, it's, it's uh, beyond understanding. Now it's in complete shambles. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's unbelievable how, how sad it, to see this place like this, just completely demolished by nature. We were thinking that it was going to be wet. We never thought that it would just be completely destroyed like this. There's nothing left. All of our gear, uh, all of Lewis's personal belongings, everything is just completely destroyed. All the recording, all the practicing, all, all of it. Uh, everything you know of Jolly was born in this room. My heart goes out to them, and uh, but I just have faith they're gonna keep on doing what they're doing. And, uh, you know, come out on the other side. All their stuff's destroyed. They're trying to pick it up now. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, the band finds something good in this and uh, finds a way to move forward. I just feel like there's nothing left. I feel like we have not a lot left. We're, at, we're healthy and we have each other. It's the memories with it. It's the good. It's not just the shit that, that is on the water, it's, it's what was destroyed, but if, if people are going to give money for Jolly, and if this is going to help them, you know, well, you should do whatever you can. It's a great band, they're great human beings. I just, I can't imagine my life without Jolly. It's really impossible to think about how that would be. Is doing something that we all feel is so important and so special. We've all given up so much because of this a love for this thing that we're doing that we believe in so much. We have faith because Jolly is special and it just it's a testament to how important Jolly is to all of us.